Certainly, there is good and evil. Certainly, there is good that you can choose through your own wisdom, your own intellect, the tools that Hashem gave you. But there are some things that are good that your intellect can never get to. There are some things that are good that your wisdom can never get to. You're simply not going to have that thought. You're not going to have that understanding without prophecy. Without prophecy. Now, how do you, how do you get this? How do you get this? As a result of doing good, the more a person perfects themselves, the more good they do as a result of their natural inclination, as a use of their wisdom, as a use of their intellect, as a restriction of themselves from things that are forbidden, that opens up that vessel that doesn't come to you naturally. That opens up that vessel of prophecy. Meaning that the good and the bad inclination are the door, or I should say the lock on the door, of whether one will receive prophecy or not. And once they do open that door of prophecy, they get further instructions that are not available in any other way possible. And the Chazunish continues, when Adam Alishon was created, he was created with the power of prophecy. Then he was prophetically commanded to observe...